subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates from evidence of cancer found in dinosaur fossils for the very first time to brightest fluorescent materials 3d printed on this edition of scientific we bring you the top science stories of the week from across the globe cancer today causes nearly 10 million deaths every year But did you know that dinosaurs too developed this deadly disease? Neither did scientists who have for the first time diagnosed an aggressive malignant bone cancer known as osteosarcoma for the first time ever in dinosaurs. Malignant cancers are tumors that can spread throughout the body. Such cancers have never before been documented in dinosaurs previously. Researchers in Canada discovered a leg bone from a horned dinosaur that lived 76 to 77 million years ago. The deformed bone, which was discovered in Canada in 1989, was originally thought to represent a healing fracture. But a re-evaluation of the bone revealed unmistakable signatures of a advanced bone cancer. Interestingly, the scientists say that this particular dinosaur did not die from the cancer. The fossil was found in a massive bone bed, suggesting that its herd was struck down by a flood. The research highlights the importance of re-evaluating existing fossil specimens with new technologies to enable scientists to draw links between current human diseases and diseases of the past. In other news from the prehistoric world, scientists have discovered the fossil of a hell ant that had trapped an ancient insect in its unique headgear. The two insects from over 99 million years ago were trapped in amber, allowing scientists to get a glimpse of how the ancient hell ants hunted. According to the researchers, catching extinct critters in the act of predation is especially rare. Usually based on fossils, scientists can only speculate how ancient species behaved. Amber fossils like this specimen help scientists see ancient life in action. The amber specimen is less than an inch wide and was discovered in Myanmar. Modern ants usually have mouth parts that grasp food moving together side to side. The extinct hell ants on the other hand had two features found in no living species: scythe-like mandibles and a wide diversity of horns on the forehead. Meanwhile, this week, NASA astronauts returning from the International Space Station have made a successful splashdown or water landing for the first time in 45 years. Splashdown. As you can see on your screen, we have visual confirmation for splashdown. The most recent crude splashdown was in July 1975 when three NASA astronauts wrapped up the Apollo Soyuz test project by splashing down in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. While astronauts now regularly travel to the ISS, this particular mission was important because it marks the return of the first commercial crewed mission to the space station. The splashdown marks the end of SpaceX's Demo 2 mission and the beginning of a new era in American space ventures. Demo 2 mission demonstrated SpaceX's capacity to ferry astronauts to the space station and back. NASA will now use SpaceX services to ferry cargo and astronauts to the space station. Until now, it had been relying on Russia's Soyuz rockets for these trips. Meanwhile, the climate crisis continues to wreak havoc on Earth. The last fully intact ice shelf in Canada has collapsed. According to researchers, more than 40% of its area was lost in just 2 days at the end of July. The Arctic has been warming at twice the global rate for the last 30 years. But this year, temperatures in the polar region have been intense with the polar sea ice shrinking to the lowest extent for July in 40 years. Summer in the Canadian Arctic has been 5 degrees Celsius above the 30-year average. This has caused smaller ice caps to melt quickly, exposing more bedrock, which then heats up and further accelerates the melting of the glaciers. In fact, a research camp based on this ice shelf was also lost due to the collapse. The researchers say that they were lucky to have not been on the ice shelf when this happened. Also this week scientists have created the brightest known material in existence a fluorescent compound that can be used to 3D print solid structure materials 
While there are currently more than 100,000 different fluorescent dyes available, almost none of these can be mixed and matched in predictable ways to create solid optical materials. When dyes are solidified, there is a decrease in the intensity of their fluorescence to produce a more subdued glow. The new materials have potential applications in technology that needs bright fluorescence, including solar energy harvesting, bioimaging and lasers. They may also be used for information storage as well as 3D display technology. This is Mohan Abbasu for The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.